What's up everybody? Get in here, man. Get a little closer. Look, if you're balling on a budget and you need a condenser microphone, I might have found something for you. This is a USB microphone. Let's open this bad boy up together. See what's in the box. See how it functions and see if it's worth your money. Let's go ahead and open it up. Very, very environmentally friendly box. Not a whole bunch of packing here. Uh, we got it's a pop filter. Let's put that thing to the side. Okay, it's actually a, I think this is a double layered pop filter. It has like two sheets of that, um, that material, that mesh material. So we'll put that right here. It's got a screw that goes in here somewhere and this would be it. Okay, so let's just pop that open since we won't be needing that. And it has a threaded end right here with a nut on it. So let's go ahead and thread it in since we got them both in hand. And this will, I'm sure there's a mount on the microphone. All right, got that in there just like that. So I'm assuming it's gonna stick on the microphone like this somehow. And then we have, looks like the actual, uh oh, got some extra accessories in there. All right, oh, so rubber bands. So the shock mount, okay, so we got some extra bands for your shock mount because you have two right here on this side, two right here on that side, and these little brass deals right here, that's actually what your pop filter goes into. So nice that we have that. And then got some instructions. We got, oh, tripod. Tripod right there, let's open that bad boy up. All right, so, okay, well, it's making a funny noise. Okay, oh, it's super stiff. Okay, so it's not gonna be all flimsy. All right, so it's locked out right now in the lock position and they are locked. This is a solid tripod, man. Let me go ahead and put it together since I got that in my hand. So we put that right there. All right, this is coming together real smooth. All right, and then there's a screw right here so you can actually tighten it up, but it's actually pretty stiff. It's, it's manageable and it's stiff enough not to move all over the place. And then of course we have your condenser mic. Bam! I don't think I'll need the instructions, but I'll keep them up here just in case. Hold on. All right, that's a happy card from Kalani. Okay, so the USB cable is actually uh, attached to the uh, condenser mic. Um, I don't know if you'd want to remove it or not, but it is, it's attached, so you can't do nothing about that. And we have our USB right here. Let's see how long this cord is. Uh, I would say there's about a five foot cord right here, USB cord, so you can't be, stroll, uh, you can't be running off too far away from your computer. So let's go ahead and assemble this. Oh man, how do I, okay, let me, let me feed it through. All right, I'm probably doing this wrong. I've never done this before. My road mic back there doesn't have any of this craziness right here. But this is what you see in a lot of the um, condenser mics, this kind of stand right here. So let me feed it through and it just kind of holds itself in place via friction with these bands and that is your shock mount. So it's just gonna take up any excess vibration from the table and then you can actually adjust it to suit your needs as such. All right, looks pretty fly. And remember we got our two extra bands right here just in case you pop one or two of them. And then let's go ahead and assemble the, uh, the pop filter here. Put that in. What's this screw for? Oh, to lock it down, all right. Let's bring it out a little bit. Put that in there. All right, so you can have this thing adjusted as far away or as close as you want it. Let's put it, I'm gonna put this bad boy about an inch away, just like that. So now you have, your, oh, let me straighten it out because I'm OCD and everything's gotta be straight. Now, build quality wise, I gotta, I gotta give them a plus, man. Uh, this tripod is nice. It's actually some solid plastic uh, that they've used to construct this with. The legs are aluminum and you got these rubber tips right here, uh, but the legs, man, they're locked in place. They are not, flimsy legs at all they I don't know what kind of mechanism is in there but once you unfold them or fold them up they're there they're gonna stay there now the mic itself uh, has a lumen an aluminum um, mesh right here and I do believe the sound actually comes in from the front of the microphone it does not project it does not input from the sides um, but the construction of the mic, the plastics that are used, the aluminum that's used, it, it actually seems like it's pretty good quality, not gonna be breaking on you. I don't hear any flimsiness or feel any flimsiness, don't hear any weird sounds. The, um, 
the shock mount i'm actually impressed with the shock mount it seems like a very durable item uh it's a it's a microphone so i mean you shouldn't be banging it up anyways i mean but the build quality on it is fantastic so for a budget mic man i, I gotta give this a plus so far in the build department but we gotta hear some audio because that's what it's all about it's a microphone so let's check 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 it out let's see if it goes Let's see if it's more of a plug and play item or we gotta do some special finagling to get this thing to work. So I got my HP Spectre right here. Let's go ahead and I gotta plug in, I gotta fire up my voice recorder real quick just to get some audio. All right, that's fired up. Let me plug this thing up on the side with your USB input right here. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and touch the record. Oh, it wasn't ready, okay. Looks like, uh, hey, it installed just that fast. All right, so no special craziness uh, is needed to get this thing to start working. I don't think so, anyways. It looks like it's already installed and ready to go. Okay, so this is the audio from the actual microphone, okay? Um, that got the pop filter on. I'm just testing it out right now. I'll let this audio play. Uh, this is raw audio recorded. There's no, there's no Audify or any type of apps or anything there's no correction done to the sound it's just plug and play right now i will i will not correct the audio in this and i'm just running my mouth and rambling just so i can get some audio from this thing so now I'm really close up so if you had it close up to your face this is what it actually sounds like so if you put and this is what it sounds like with the pop filter on so let me let me flip this pop filter up and now the pop filter is up and i'm still running my mouth and still rambling and i'm very close to the mic as you can see let me put it down and come back a little bit and the pop filter is off and so if the audio still sounds good that's a plus now let me put the pop filter back in front of it this is crazy i know <laughs> but this is raw audio from the mic and i'm gonna go ahead and stop it right there that is literally one minute of me rambling about this microphone pop filter on pop filter off so now i'm gonna cut the video and then i'm gonna listen to the audio and then i'm gonna tell you what i think about the mic you know what, man? This is not bad at all. This is actually a really good mic. I say pick it up, man. If you're balling on a budget, trying to do some YouTube videos or start up a podcast real quick, or just need some, you know, some way to interface with audio, this is a great mic. The sound, the raw sound quality from this thing, I gotta say it's actually really good. Um, there could be some correction that you do somewhere. I was really just playing around with it right off the cuff. But if you actually tweak the audio just a little bit, I mean, and in some cases, I, I, I feel like I didn't even need to tweak it, but I couldn't tell whether it was with the pop filter on or whether I was just too close or just talking ridiculously loud. It actually sounded really good. It just, you know, uh, there's a little, there's a few hot spots there. But um, yeah, so just, I don't know, download Audacity if you need some type of audio thing or whatever software you're gonna use. But as, a, as the mic goes by itself, just straight off the rip, it is a good mic. Pick this bad boy up. I am thoroughly impressed. Feel quality and sound quality included. Nice. Anyways, I gotta get out of here. I'm just doing reviews, man, and I like this mic. Before I get out of here, y'all go ahead and tap on that like button, smash on that subscribe button, and I'll see y'all at the next one.